podcast called Chatting from the Word? No. What's it about? It's about Christianity and enlightenment. Period, queen. You tell them. Yeah. <laughs> Dippy. I'm living in this moment because of you, and I want to thank you and praise you Your grace and mercy Amen, amen, and amen. God, grace, and mercy brought us through. Thank you, Jesus. Have mercy. It is the 2 o'clock hour, 
and it's time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word, with your host, and your brother, Brother Oscar York, through the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word and from the Word, and putting a snap in your Christian walk. Yes, we are, and we are so glad, so glad, so glad. So glad to do it. We are so glad to do it, and we are so glad that you are joining us on this fine, fine afternoon. And we are so glad that you have your ears on and listening to us here on Chatting from the Word. Let me welcome all to the program today. You know, God has blessed us all with another wonderful, wonderful day. For this day was was not even as promised to us on yesterday. But the Lord loved us so much, and he gave us this day. We that are on this side of heaven, he has given us another day, another day to make it right with him, another day to walk closer and closer with him. I just hope we are taking advantage of each day, each time, each hour, each minute that the Lord has given us to make it right with him and to walk closer and closer closer uh, with him. Just like David says in Psalm 118, verse 34, this is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Again, I'm so thankful that you have your ears on and listening to us here on Chatting from the Word. Amen, amen. We are so glad, so glad. Yes, we are that you are listening. <laughs> Amen, amen. We're so glad that you're listening to us today. And if this be your first time listening, don't allow it to be your last time. Come back and hear some more. Amen, amen. We here in Dayton, Ohio, we are having some beautiful, beautiful weather. When I looked outside this earlier this morning, I seen sunshine, not too many clouds. And I like it like that, to be honest with you, but I also love the sunshine. I love it. It's all right. And the weatherman says, the weather report says, I'm a woman. <laughs> I apologize. I mean nothing about that. But the weather people says, it is 72 degrees, sunny, no precipitation on tonight, humidity at 34%. Dew point at 39 degrees and pressure is at 30. That sounds like a beautiful day to me, my friends, regardless. You know what Brother Oscar always is saying? Regardless what's going on on the outside, it can be raining cats and dogs. It can be 50 feet of snow at my door. But as long as I have the Son of God, I have sunny days every day because I have the Son of God. Amen, amen, amen. Yes, I do. Yes, we do. <laughs> Since you have years and we do, we have the Son of God, and we are so delighted uh, to be uh, with you today and to be, bring you uh, this fine program on this fine afternoon, attempting to put a snap in your Christian walk, and we hope that we are doing that at this time and at uh, this hour, amen, and uh, amen. Again, we're so delighted to be with you, and uh, we hope that you have your ears on on this fine, fine afternoon. Again, we have a wonderful program for you today. Of course, we're going to uh, play our prayer anthem, uh, so our prayer song by Radiant Acapella. And the song before the message and after prayer would be some kind of wonderful by Joe Snell. And of course, the message, the mind of Christ, taken from Romans 11, 26 to 36. And Hebrews 9, we're still doing our pit stop over Hebrews 9, and we should be uh, finishing with that today. Because when we read Romans 11 and uh, our 
where we stopped, excuse me, I take a good breath here. <laughs> where we stopped at is, is verse 27 of Romans 11, and it's talking about the covenant. And what your brother wants to do is make sure everybody understand what the covenant is all about, because many, many uh, that call themselves teaching about the covenant, they don't teach it correctly, and we just want to know and see what God's word really is saying about uh, the covenant, uh, the testament. Okay, so we are still on the pit stop on Hebrews 9. Okay, so when we get to that part of the program, have your Bibles out. Go get your Bibles right now so that when we get to that point of the, of the program, you'll be ready to, uh, 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 to study the Bible with Brother Oscar. I'm going to say it like that, to study the Bible with Brother Oscar, because we both at the same time can see what the Word of God is truly saying to all of us. Amen and amen. We hope you have years on, and we hope that you relax. Are you relaxed, my friends? Are you truly relaxing? Do you have your mind off of what's going on on the outside? What's going on on the news? All the bad news that's going on about the stimulus packet and uh, the Trump administration and all that. Are you ready to spend some time with Brother Oscar along with the Lord or the Lord with Brother Oscar? Because that's what we do here on Channel from the Word. We spend a whole hour with the Lord in songs, prayers, and in a message. So just hang in there with Brother Oscar and continue on relaxing. And if you're relaxing, go have a cup of your favorite beverage, coffee, tea, milk, juice, so on, so the pop, a glass of iced tea, a fresh and squeezed glass of lemonade or orange juice. And just go ahead on and relax. Acts on out. And if you're at home, recline your reclining chair. I just stretch out on the couch or on the floor while you're listening to your brother here, Brother Oscar York. Now, if you're driving, trying to get to point A to point B, keep your eyes on the road while you're listening to your brother here, Brother Oscar York. Now, if you're in the gym trying to tune up the muscles and try and get that squat board stomach, uh, just working out, just keep your body in tune. In tune. Put your earbuds on while you're exercising, while you can still keep listening to your brother Oscar York here on chatting from the world. Amen, amen, and Amen. Again, we are so delighted to be with you, and we are so delighted that you have your ears on. Oh, where am I, y'all? Where am I? All right, all right, all right. We will be right back after these messages.
Amen and amen. That was sweet hour of prayer sung by Radiance Acapella. And this is our prayer time. And if you have a prayer request that you want Brother Oscar to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, just email it to me. My email address is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Or you can message it to me on our messenger page. Or you can put it on our Facebook page that is dedicated to the program here. Uh, Chatting from the Word, hosted by Brother Oscar Wright slash OscarYorkPublishing.com. Or you can go to our webpage, OscarYorkPublishing.com, and put your prayer request uh, there. If you have one, if you want us to pray for your request, you can use uh, those uh, avenues. Amen. And, um, amen. Uh, we, we really don't have any prayer requests, but I uh, received some sad news. And I got it off the of Facebook page, and I need to give a call to the family of Brother Benson Smith. And, um, Brother Benson Smith was a longstanding elder of the Fifth Ward uh, Church of Christ in uh, Houston, Texas. And as many may know, Fifth War is where I began, and I obeyed the gospel under uh, the leadership at the Fifth War Church of Christ, along with the minister that was there at the time, which was uh, Brother Thomas Holster. And that goes back to, I believe, the year 71, 72, when uh, I began to be acquainted with uh, the Fifth War Church of Christ after I'd been baptized and added to that body there, and uh, Brother Benson Smith, the passion of Benson Smith, really hit me, hitting me hard, and we just want to uh, send our condolences to the uh, family of, uh, of, of Brother Smith, to his wife, and to his uh, family about uh, his passing. He, he was a good elder. He, 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 he knew a lot about life, and a lot about God, and that he was a good man. I, I can truly say that about him because I have uh, witnessed Brother Smith in uh, personal uh, situations. Because one time we worked together, uh, he had uh, I was down and out back in 1980. He uh, helped me get a job at uh, McDonald's. It was just a little part-time job just to hold me over. And, until something better come through and came through, and we had a chance to really uh, talk and uh, get to know each other. So I want to send my condolences to the Smith family in Houston, Texas. I grew up with all his sons, especially Vincent Smith. Uh, Vincent Smith, we was close, or we, we still are close, and sometimes so I send him little messages to Facebook. I don't know if you know it's me because I go into sometimes more theater York. Uh, but uh, again, my condolences uh, to the Smith family on the passing of Brother Benson, Benson Smith. All right? Uh, again, if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, just email it to me, please. And if you have a uh, 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 mail, uh, uh, email, uh, a prayer request. We'd be happy to uh, pray for that request. But before we uh, approach the throne of grace, will you, if you have a copy of God's Word, and if you want to read along with me, that's fine. We'll be coming from First John 5, and the verse is 14 and 15. And here the beloved apostle says, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have a petition that we desire of him. Amen and amen. We pray with me, please. Our Father, we taught Father, we recognize 
that you are a merciful Father, a loving Father, a caring and kind Father. Father, we recognize when we call on you. You're there to receive our call, especially if it's in your will. Father, always help us to do your will and to live for Jesus Christ and live like Christ, be like Christ. Oh, Father, our hearts are made heavy. Uh, today, we're the passing of burdens and sin. Father, we pray for the family at this time. Hold them up, Father, during and through the morning time. Oh, Father, allow them to recognize that Bert Smith was in a safety of your arms. And as he lived, he was in a safe place. And that was in your son's body, the salvation. Is that. Oh, Father, we come pray for the world at this time. Father, we recognize that the world has itself in the pickle, all pickled up with this pandemic or the uh, coronavirus. Father, we pray for those that have captured and captured, captured <laughs> uh, this uh, coronavirus. Well, Father, we pray that you heal their bodies. Be with the hands of the doctors that are ministering the medicine. Help them to minister the medicine in the right way and the right medicine so their bodies may be healed and once and get up and to be whole again and to be able to live as they once did. Father, we come pray for those that have lost loved ones. To this dreadful disease, Father, we pray that you be with them during their uh, morning time. Be with them as they mourn and they lost loved ones. And Father, we pray for those that uh, have lost their lives at the hands of the police. And Father, we pray for their family. Father, help them too. Put your loving arms around them as well so that they may mourn and grieve and may see better days. And of course, Father, we still want to keep Brother Smith and his, and his family in our prayers over his passing. Father, we ask that you comfort them also and put your loving arms around them. And Father, we come praying for the, the, the political world at this time, praying for our president. And he does what's right and look up to you from which cometh all his help. For his help comes from you, which created the heavens and the earth. And Father, we come praying for uh, the body of Christ at this time, the church of Christ. Father, help us to maintain the body of Christ during this pandemic time. Father, help us to keep, keep our, our, our stand on the foundation of love, peace, harmony, unity, and togetherness. Oh, Father, we come praying for all of our listeners at this time. Father, we pray that you uplift them also, Father. Let them recognize from this coming all of our here, Father. Help us that, uh, the listeners, that they may keep on clean, closer and closer to you, Father. Help them, Father, so that they may trust in you more when, when times are tough when they're going through the storms and when they're going through some deep, 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 deep seas. Father, we come praying for our program here, chatting from the Word. Father, be with us. Help us to always put Christ first, last, and, and in the middle of our program. Father, help us to stand on the banner of love. Help us to stand on the better banner of peace. Help us to always teach the truth. Help us, Father, to be a light in every community and that we are heard in. Yeah. And, Father, we come praying for the message today, the mind of the Lord. Father, help us that we may say something to help someone today. Say something that we may help someone uh, 
be finding it hard to drop this Christian role so that we make it my help them to ease that walk. Father, help us, Father, that we may say something to help someone to find you and to know you and to trust you and to love you. And, Father, we come praying for those that we've been praying for all this time. Father, we pray that you still continue on being with them, help them, guide them, help them through the task that they are trying to uh, complete. Father, help them to continue on living for you and doing for you. Father, pray for myself also. Father, help me to to find a, a place to live and a roof in my head. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. And amen. All right, all right, all right. I want to thank you for praying along with us on that prayer. And we hope uh, that we prayed for something that is on our, was on your mind. And again, keep the Smith, uh, the Smith family in your prayers at the Fifth Ward uh, Church of Christ in Houston, Texas. Pray for the whole Oh, the whole congregation, I know the whole congregation love the Smith family. And uh, keep them in uh, your prayers. Amen. Amen. We hope that you still have years on and you're listening to Chatting from the Word through your speaker platform with your host, Brother Oscar York, where we are chatting about the Word and from the Word and putting a snap. In your Christian world. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And we are, we are so glad, so glad to do it. Amen, amen, amen. Yes, we are. All right, all right, all right. Where are we? Where am I? You all, where am I? All right, all right. We will be right back after these. Messages. All right, all right. We're back. We're back, and we're glad to be back. We're glad to be with you on this fine, fine, wonderful day. And we hope that you feel the same. Do you feel the same, my friends? Are you glad, Brother Oscar, putting on this program so that we can put your mind in a better place? Because we're trying. We're trying to do that here on Chatting from the Word. You know, you can listen to anything or everybody or anybody else, but you decide to listen to Brother Oscar. And Brother Oscar is so glad that you are. Because you think about how many programs that you can listen to that will put a snap in your Christian life. How many programs that you can listen to that's going to talk about the beautifulness of heaven. Of heaven. How many programs you can listen to that's going to help you to see Jesus Christ? How many programs you can listen to that's going to have a saving message so that you can go by and one day be in heaven with our Lord? Not too many of us. It's not too many. I'm not saying there's none out there. But it's, it's, it's several of them out there like Brother Oscar's program. And Brother Oscar do recognize that I'm not blind and I, and I can see it's me who is trying to tell others about Jesus Christ. But what I do believe, I believe that the world need more programs like this because there's so many people out there that need to hear a saving message of Jesus Christ. And your brother believes that so so vivid and so hard. And I believe that we can't put enough program like this on on today. You know, because the world itself has so many people thinking in a different way from what the Lord wants us to really think. The world when they talk about Christianity, what are they really talking about? But this program here is a Christian program that you can trust 
and listen to and know that Brother Oscar is going by the word of God. And if you appreciate what Brother Oscar is help us out here. We need, we need financial help. We need uh, some financial help to keep this program on the air. And of course, Brother Oscar himself is in a, a heart fix financially. So if you care, first of all, about the Lord and love to hear his message. And if you care about this program, and if you care about Brother Oscar, help us out here. Help us out here. Help us out. And if you want to donate, or if you want to sponsor our program. And here's my sister, Wanda Sassu, with all the details. Thank you, sis. Thank you for detailing that for us. And I hope that y'all heard her detailing where to send your donations to the program. And if you want to sponsor our program, get in contact with me and let your brother know. And we will appreciate that very, very much. And now for our announcements and uh, I've been announcing this for quite some time. These were several days now. <laughs> Let me tell you several days. Probably not quite some time, but several days. Um, like I told you all the other day, I had talked with Brother Freddie Biggs. And he'll be on the show. He'll bring us a message on the 28th of this month. And uh, I'm not sure what the message is going to be about. But if you keep your ears on and keep on listening to us here and getting from the word, and as soon as we get close to that date, I'm very sure that we have more information on the message that he will bring. And I'm very sure it's going to be a good message. He is a dynamic speaker, and he knows the word of God. And to me, that's more important than having gold. <laughs> If you ask Brother Oscar. Well, you ask him, Brother Oscar. <laughs> all right, all right. And as some may know, Southwestern Christian God College is getting ready for that eighty third lectureship. And I was a a student back at uh Southwestern back in the um, early seventies, uh seventy four, seventy five, mid seventies, uh, if you want to say it like that, but they're getting ready to be geared up for their uh, 83rd, 83rd lectureship. And here's some information on it. All right. Oh, that the Brother Oscar is an alumnus of Southwestern Christian College. At this time, they are gearing up for their 83rd Southwestern Christian College lectureship, a virtual event, November 21st to 25th. The theme would be Who Moves the Church? The keynote speakers would be Stanley Calvert, Abba Daniels, J. O. Robinson, T. Peterson, Dr. O. Haywood, David Walker, David Wilson, Don Dollard, Dr. J. Flowers, Jerry Smith, Dr. O. Sebastian, Jerry Lawless, Dr. Devin Blakey, Andrew Proctor, Darren Monty, Wesley Snyder, Dr. R. Dillon, and Dr. T. Wilson. With Dr. Richard L. Barkley as your leadership director with the president, Dr. Irvin's Mr. Jr. This virtual leadership can be accessed on the Southwest State College Facebook page and on the Church TV network. Send any questions or concerns to SWCC Leadership 1949 at gmail.com. Amen. Amen. And we still.
still selling our t-shirts. We are selling our t-shirts, our t-shirts, our t-shirts. And the front of the t-shirt would be, we have the ears on with a pair of ears. And of course, it would have also on the back, listen to, chatting from the word with praying hands. The price would be $35. Send me an email if you want to purchase one or more, the size and how many. And you could also call 937-830-7739 and ask for Oscar the Third. Hey, 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 bye-bye. Hey, man, hey, man, I hope you understood the, <laughs> the information on the lectureship. It's going to be a virtual relation, uh, lectureship this year because of the pandemic and all of that that's going on in the world today. And to be honest with you, I, you know, do it like that. You might have more listeners to listen to the program than we ever, ever had before at the uh, Southwestern Christian College uh, uh, lecture. A ship, and this is the third lecture ship. We all hope that everybody tune in and listen uh, to the fine brothers delivering messages who moved the church. Amen and uh, amen. Since you're listening to the program, and I know you are, I know you have your ears on. Spread the news, spread the news, spread the news about our program. Let your friends know we're, we're on. Let your neighbors know we're on. Let the people on Facebook know, Facebook know we're on. Let them know we're on. Uh, let the people know on LinkedIn that we're on. Instagram and other avenues, networks uh, that you are. Spread the news. Spread the news. Uh, spread the news. And let them know that we're on Monday through Fridays at 2 and Saturdays at 7. Tell them about us here at Chatting from the Word. But not only tell them. Uh, like us here. Like us here. If you listen to us and if you like what we're doing here, let us know. Let us know that we're doing a good job. Like us here. I believe it's a place on the Spreaker platform where you can put if you like the program or not. And also on, on YouTube. We come live on YouTube at this time. And if you like the show, Make a comment or two. You're welcome to uh, do that as well. And, of course, follow us here on our uh, own speaker platform. We'd be happy that you do when you follow us. To be a part of the family so that you can join us and be a part of the program. And also on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. The program do come on YouTube. We need a 1,000 subscribers. So help us. Reach that thousand subscribers so that we can share the show at ease and tell you about the love that Jesus Christ has for all of us. Amen. And amen. Now, if you ever want to talk with your brother, if you want to talk with me, first of all, Send your brother email. You can send me an email. Send me an email. And the email address, again, is for case of York 3443 at gmail.com. Or you can uh, send a message on our Facebook page, Chatting from the Word, hosted by brother Oscar, right slash Oscar York Publishing.com. Or you can send it to our messenger page, many have, and Brother Oscar, we appreciate the many thumbs up that you're giving him, but don't give my thumbs up unless you heard this, listen to the program first. Or you can go to our website, our webpage, OscarYorkPublishing.com. But while you're on our webpage, we do have a bookstore. Your brother here has authored two books. My first book, which is A Peaceful Place in the Storms, God is in Control, with sell for 2150. And our second book, Bridges of Friendships, which also sell for 2150. And if you want to purchase both books, both books are $43. We hope that you do that. Because all the proceeds will go towards 
this fine program that Brother Oscar is putting on every day, just about, except Sunday. So, visit us your punching.com and order you a book and read. Now, you know what Brother Oscar's motto is, motto is, when it comes to read. We said every day on the air, when you read, you get knowledge, and with knowledge comes power. Yes, it does. It comes power, power, power. So go visit us at dot com and order you a book and read. Amen. And uh, amen. The internet networks that we come on is the LC, Lob, Joseph Ann, Cromwell View, Bullhorn, Alexa Media Player, PaulPlayer.net, Chrome, iTunes, ListenNote.com, Podchaser, Deezer, Apple Podcast, uh, iHeartRadio, uh, Tumblr, Blogger, Internet Explorer, the Mirror, and for App, Bing.com, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Pass Hot, Podcast Addict, Flickr, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you desire a direct link, visit your Google Play or App Store and download Spreaker Podcast app. And once you have it downloaded, look us up, Chatting for the Word, hosted by Brother Oscar. And once you find us, put us in your favorites. So that when Mondays through Fridays come at 2, and Saturdays at 7, you'll be ready to listen to a beautiful program from us here at Chatting from the Word. Amen. Amen. And we'd be so blessed that you would do just that. All right, all right, all right. We're moving on with the program. We're moving on with the program. And the only selection we've selected other than the others that we always play, would be some kind wonderful by Joe Snell. And I love this song, and I love his recording. Uh, some kind of wonderful. And he, he, and here he is, Joe Snell, take it off. Take it away. I don't need a whole lot of money. I don't need silver and gold. I've got everything that a man could want. I've got more than I can ask for. Uh, I don't have to worry about my problems. They're keeping me up at night. I got a sweet loving savior, and he's always eating me right. His name is Jesus, but he's alright. My Jesus, he's out of sight. Don't you know that he's some kind of wonderful? Yes, he is. Some kind of wonderful. My precious savior. Some kind of wonderful. Some kind of wonderful. Now when Satan is testing my faith, he's trying to turn my life around. He is trying to cause me to stumble, but I won't let him stop me now. When I'm down and feeling low, and I'm wondering just where to go, I can go to my secret closet, and my Savior will meet me there. His name is Jesus, and he's all right. My, 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 my Savior, he's out of sight. And I know that he is some kind of wonderful. I know that he is some kind of wonderful. I know that he is some kind of wonderful. Oh, yeah, he is. Now, here's anybody got a sweet loving soul like mine. It's got to be somebody. I've got a sweet loving savior like mine. 
The lesson comes from verse 34 of chapter 11. But Paul said, I'm going to leave that quickly for you. But Paul said, For who had known the mind of the Lord, or who had been his counselor? And as we said, Because the love that the Lord has for us, he allowed, he allowed love to dictate who he really is and how he treats us and what. He does for us as well. And we all need to have the same kind of love that Christ had for us. That he died on the cross so long, long time ago for all of us so that we may all have salvation. And of course, we at verse 27. And, and that verse 27 talks about the, uh, uh, the uh, covenant, the covenant. And I just want you all to understand what it is. What, what, what Paul really is talking about here when he's mentioning the covenant, okay? And that's why we switched over to Hebrews, I believe, Hebrews 9. And if you have a, a copy of God's Word, just, just turn that with me quickly uh, to, to uh, Hebrews 9. And I believe we're on the last part of this in Hebrews 9. <laughs> we see that a pit stop, okay? And, uh, of course, we're going to read it, and uh, we, we're going to get an understanding about the covenant. We already said that the covenant is the same thing as a testament, and a testament is the same thing as an agreement, you see. And we said, uh, we, we said that the Old Testament or Old Agreement or the Old Covenant could not bring salvation. It could not. The only testament that could bring salvation today is in 
the New Testament, the testament that Christ died for, the testament that our Lord is the test taker of. Because in the Old Testament, the Old Testament did not have a test taker. In other words, no one died for the Old Testament that Moses received from Mount Sinai. No one did. But except Jesus Christ. He died. He died for the New Testament. He died to be a testator. He shed his blood to bring on the new way and a better way. And his church. I think sometimes we forget why Christ died on the cross. He died on the cross, my friends, so that we could have salvation. And salvation where? In him. In Jesus. In him. That's why he died for us. I think sometimes we forget that. And here the Hebrew writer says, and we're going to read it quickly, because time would not, uh, is, is coming upon us quickly. And let's begin with verse uh, Hebrews 9 and uh, verse 21. And here the Hebrew writer says, Moreover, he sprinkled with blood both the tabernacle and all the vessels of the ministry. Talking about Moses' time. And almost all things are by the law purged with blood, and without shedding of blood is no remission. Those two factors we must factor in. And, and Moses did that to cleanse the altar and, and all that with the blood of animals, okay? And then it said purge. Purge means clean. Uh, the blood made it clean. And without shedding, it didn't say without shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. There is no cleaning of sin. And then verse 23 says, And it was therefore necessary that the patterns of things in the heavens should be purified with these. The pattern. The pattern. The word pattern is an important word. God has a pattern that he did things by. And he has a pattern that he does things by today. And many do not want to go by that pattern. Many want to do whatever they want to do in the name of religion. But God has a pattern. And he had a pattern from the beginning. And let me finish reading this so we can get on out of here. And it says here, It was doubtful necessary that the patterns of things in the heavens should be purified with these, but, but the heavenly thing themselves with better sacrifices than these. You see, it, Christ was the better sacrifice. So that's the pattern. Something of someone had to die. For, to redeem us from our sins. That was God's pattern from the beginning. And I believe some of us, we don't understand that. His pattern of heavenly things. And God had to stand on the God had to stand in the way to die for our sins. And today he beckoned us to come to him. To come to him. To be purged and cleansed with who blood? His blood. Because Jesus shed his blood so that we may be redeemed from our sins. And then verse 24 says, For Christ is not entered into the holy places made with hands, which are the figure of the true, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God. See, Jesus Christ went above what the, the high priest did in the tabernacle. They had the holy and then they had the holies of holies. And the high priest went to the holies of holies every year, offering up sacrifices for the people's sins. But God, Jesus Christ, he went farther than the holies of holies. He went to heaven in itself. Jesus Christ went to heaven himself and still there, still in heaven, still talking with the Father, Still pleading our case, still being 
are mediator for us. You know, high priest couldn't do that. They couldn't do that. Like in the Testament. And if you're in the organization talking about this, you have high priests, I can guarantee you that they can't do that. <laughs> but I also can guarantee you they don't do that, okay? And the best place you can be, the best place you can be that the Bible talks about is in the body of Christ. Is in Christ Jesus and in his body. And being his body, you know one thing you can't do to his body? You can't join his body. You are not voted on being his body. For Christ himself, after you finish in obedience to his saving message, add you to the body of Christ, his body, his church, his people, his uh, family. Amen and amen. We're going to leave you right there. We're, like I said, this message is really getting good. And Paul, in Romans, 9, in Romans 11, excuse me, he, he brings up some good factors here. And he's opened up our eyes. And I hope your eyes are being opened today as we discuss. As we discuss. And Paul and Pete on the Romans letter that Apostle Paul wrote to the Roman church. And if you understand what Bill Lobster is saying, if you want to be saved, do it. Do it tonight. Don't hesitate because we don't know what may be on the next second or on tomorrow. Amen, amen. We must get on out of here. Yes, we must. And we hate to do that, but uh, we must go. We enjoy being with you today. It's for our work. And we hope and pray that we put a snap in your Christian walk. We pray with me, please. Our Father, which art in heaven, thou be thy name. Thy kingdom is, has come. Your will is being done. Father, we pray for our listeners today. Father, be with them, guide them, strengthen them. Help them through life's way. Help them travel this Christian walk. And Father, be with the Smith family in Houston, Texas. And our lost brother Smith, Father, comfort them, put their loving arms around them. Let them know that they are loved. And now, may the grace of God, so we commune of the Holy Spirit, rest you in the Bible with us. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. And we see you all on tomorrow. Bye-bye. May God bless Great.